What's up, guys? It's another day, another Saturday. So, normal visit to the comic book store, unless I get a break during the week. Uh, it's about, what is it? It's 12 a.m. at night. A little tired, but nice day. Nice day. Uh, decided to visit my boy Khan over at uh, Bulletproof Comics. He was not there. He doesn't work on weekends, but he did send me a message earlier through Facebook uh, that he was pulling a couple of books for me uh, to hold. And, dude, what more can I say about this store? I mean, I, I'm, I'm nobody special. I'm just like everybody else. I, uh, you know, I, I, I go there when I can, buy my books, but these guys are just excellence personified. These, these guys usually do what they can, what they need to uh, help you out. And um, it was no different today. Uh, went over there, uh, I gave him a list of what I wanted, you know, for him to hold to pull. Now, some of them weren't there, some were, and, uh, but he did let, uh, he, he let the, uh, his workers know that I was coming by to let me basically just go through everything. Now, some stores won't let you do this. Some stores are, they prohibit you from going to certain areas, from touching, touching certain boxes and all that stuff, but, you know, not, uh, not Bulletproof Comics, man. They let a few, not many, but they let a few who they feel they can trust. And, uh, you know, my love for comics, man, never ends. Uh, so I'm very thankful that I'm able to uh, get access like that and pretty much just take my time, breeze through everything, look at the nice 9.6, 9.8s, you know, the high-grade stuff, uh, the expensive stuff as well, even though I'm not a big baller like that, but... <laughs> You know, it does help to have it in front of you and, hmm, should I, should I not? So, but uh, I, I, the reason I'm, I'm talking about them most specifically is this. This comic book store, every single book that's there, whether if it's issue number 500 that just came out last week of Rebirth, nothing that major, nothing grand, just their usual new issues coming out, they bag and board every single one of them. Whether they are 8 point something, 9.0, whatever they are, they're all bagged and boarded. So, when I come home and I'm taking all my comics out and putting them in my Mylars, in my uh, boards that I use, I have all of this left. Look at this. Now, these are, what are these? These are, what, 7.5 by 10.5, I think, or, or maybe less. I could be mistaken. But, dude, these are free boards. This is all free. You know what I mean? Great condition. It's not bent or anything. It's not like they put the cheap stuff there. Dude, these are all badass boards. Coated on one side. You know what I mean? Acid free. These are all free. What comic book store does that? You know, now, of course, they use the poly, the poly fuse bags. And, you know, we're all going to switch them up to Mylar's. But, dude, this is all free, man. I want to show you something else. Top loaders. Free, my friends. Free. That is why I freaking love this comic book shop. Every book that I bought had a bag, a board, and a top loader. Rich, you want me to tape the top for you? Look, you can still see that they're a little... Well, probably not, but... Dude, service personified. I mean, they are awesome over there. I love it. I love it. I keep all my Delatos. I have a stack right here of Delatos that I bought today, which I'm mm, really pumped about. And then I have non delatos but badass comics. It was a good day for me. Um, you know, a good day might be different for you, what you like. It's really about what you like. You know, you could be pulling a Supergirl, uh, a Legion, Adam Hughes cover. That might be your good day. To me, it could be Supergirl issue number 12. You know, it is what it is. But a uh, really good day for me today. And dude... All of these top loaders. I keep all my Delato loaders. Guess what? I don't have to buy any more loaders. I can use these to put my Delatos in. The ones I just bought. Why? Because they came with them. So the train ride home, worry-free. Worry-free. I don't get a paycheck from these guys. I'm a regular customer, just like everybody else. Uh, but I like to chit-chat. I like to talk. I talk with the employees there. I talk with the owner, Khan. You know, I'm into it. I take my time. I look at everything, and uh, 
dude, this is service, man. I don't know if any other comic book stores do this. Maybe they do. If they do, awesome. Awesome. Be grateful that they do. But these guys do. I say it all the time. Bulletproof Comics, thank you so much for what you guys do for us. Thank you so much for the love that you give these books that we buy. It shows in the condition. Thank you so much. I can't wait to go visit you guys next Saturday. So, this is uh, my episode 6, I believe. Episode 6. Uh, comic haul, comic book haul, numero 3, I think. I think it's number 3. If not, this little indicator right here will tell you what it is. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to probably change the view and let you guys see what I bought today. Oh, yeah. What a day. What a day. All right. What's up, guys? So, here we have my books, which I bought today. Bulletproof Comics. Pretty happy about them. Um, to me, personally, it was a score. Uh, I did want these books. I did have them on my watch list, and I'm pretty happy that they were all available for me in great condition. And uh, here you go. These are just the other versions, not the Delatos, but this is, of course, Supergirl number 12, DC Rebirth. I love this cover. Very beautiful cover. Not your normal you know, superhero female with big boobs and all that looking sexy. She looks, she does look very sexy, but very ripped, very toned, nice muscle structure. Everything looks pretty awesome, just like Supergirl should look powerful and sexy at the same time. Beautiful colors, beautiful book. I mean, we all have this book, man. What can I say? What more can I say? Aquaman Underworld, DC Rebirth number 26. Her name is Mira. She is looking very, very nice. Nice and voluptuous, but more importantly, guys, look at that face, man. Look at that emotion. She is ready to tear some crap up. If you can see her eyes a little closely, she is on a rampage. Manipulating the water as she does the best. The Queen of Atlantis, ready to take... Uh, have Aquaman Arthur's back. This is actually a pretty cool story. Uh, right now, Arthur has pretty much the whole throne, I believe, against him, being uh, uh, used by a uh, uh, fudge. I forgot the guy's name. The other king who's taking over right now, the fake king. And uh, Mira is coming to rescue him, of course, to have his back. This is a pretty awesome cover. I mean, dude, what more can I say, man? This is probably one of the best ones I think I picked up today. And you have Aquaman number 28, Enemies of Atlantis. Part of the same story. Uh, as you can see, he has part of the Citadel of Atlantis. The soldiers coming after him, being manipulated, of course. Big, huge piranha in the background. This cover's beautiful. This is just a beautiful cover, man. You know, basic tone of underwater. You can see the bubbles and everything else. Aquaman looks awesome, of course. He's always in some trouble, man, it seems. You know what I mean? <laughs> always in some trouble. But uh, the never-ending battle. Beautiful cover, guys. Beautiful cover. All New Inhumans number one. Now, this one I picked up. This is the hip-hop variant. Uh, I believe this is Future's cover album. Uh, not really into Future like that, but did some digging because I, I, I know about the other ones. I know which ones the other ones are, but I couldn't for some reason figure this out. But this is just a beautiful cover, man. I think this is one of the best ones. The purple, the blue, the red, the white, everything, the, the, the aqua blue, the lime green, everything in there. A little bit of lime, not really lime, but everything in there is pretty awesome. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful artwork by Marco D. Alfonso. On You and Humans number one hip hop variant of Future. Guys, this is a beautiful book, man. Beautiful book. Have to get it. Oh, yeah. Batman DC Universe Rebirth numero 32. Uh, the War of the Joker and the Riddler, of course. And spoiler alert, guys. Selena did say yes. <laughs> Just a little, little sham sham there. This is a beautiful cover though. Batman standing right there in the midst of Gotham, a burning Gotham. 
DC Annual number two. This is one of the books that Khan, thank you so kindly, my good sir. One of the books that uh, Khan had pulled for me, had ready, just came out. Uh, Date Nights, I think this is one of the first uh, re-encounter of Catwoman and Batman. They're both orphans. This is one of the first dates they went out on, I think. Gotta read the book. Uh, I, I read a little bit, but not too much. I gotta I breeze through it. I need to really sit down and read it. I don't like reading my books, man. I like keeping them as mint as I can, but... I do go to YouTube, basically, and uh, get all my feed there, man. It's the best way to go, if you ask me. Digital comics, baby. This is a beautiful cover, though. I love this cover. Batman always to the rescue. Oh, yeah. Batman creature of the night. So the kid's name is Bruce Wainwright, I think. Uh, nice little story. He's a huge Batman fan. Pretty much has the same uh, brought-up story as the original. Bruce Wayne, but um, nice little dark kind of spiniotic tale. Uh, nice cover though. I do like the cover. I do like the vintage look with the old school, uh, you know, uniform on and everything. The guy looks just like a mini Batman. Uh, Kurt Busiek, of course, John Paul Leone. Creature of the Night, Book One, Batman. Guys, now what we have here is my Delato pool that I bought today. Guys, you know this is my guy. I'm in love with all the DK3 Master Race books. They're all beautiful. I mean, to me, Delato has the best ones. They are just sick, 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 sick. This is, of course, book number eight, uh, the black and white uh, variant of DK3 Master Race book eight. That is after the final battle of Mr. Two-Face. So you can see him on the bottom and Batman just hovering over him like the beast that he is. No chance. That's what you got, brother. This is a beautiful book, man. Black and white with the pink background. I tell you what, guys. Del Otto does it again. DK3, the Master Race, the black and white. Now, this one is pretty sweet. I had the choice of picking up the color one. But I picked up this one because highlights the kryptonite. Of course, as you can see, uh, it might be a little... I think it got a little too bright. I'm not too sure. But that's Green Arrow's arrow right there. The kryptonite laced one, of course. You guys all know the story. Uh... Superman catches it, but then it explodes right in the front, just like in the BVS movie. Kryptonite fills the air. He gets weak. As you can see, Batman's helmet right there. <laughs> um, What more can I say, guys? Awesome story. Beautiful book, man. Black and white with just the neon coming up. I cannot wait to get this baby graded. This is a very high grade. This is a 9.6, 9.8. Um, can see a little bit of red right there, which is the blood of soups coming out. Nice, nice book. I love it very much. One of my favorite ones. I honestly think it's better than the color, believe it or not. Another stash to my Delato. Now, you guys know how I feel about the Harley Quinn uh, variant cover. I think it's the best one, to be honest with you. He went all out. I do have the uh, pink variant uh, CGC Signature Series signed by Delato, as you can see in uh, video number two, episode number two. I always wanted to get the color in the black and white. Had my chance to do so. Thank you very much, Bulletproof Comics. Thank you, Andrew. You're the man, baby. You are the man. Thank you for taking the time to help me out once again. Um, this is a very, very beautiful book. This is the black and white one. The only color in this book is Joker's face with the X. Cha-cha. No more Joker. Um, love this book. Had to get the black and white. So you know I also had to get the color. Dude. What more can I say, guys? This is a beautiful book. Color makes it all as well. Um, just like the, the the pink one, my favorite one. But this one, the color one, is very awesome as well. Harley Quinn looks as sexy as ever. Look at the revolver. The leather strap. Nicely toned. Little, little strap. Come on, guys. What more can I say with the knee pads? Dude. Mischievous as always, Miss Harley Quinzel. Mischievous as always. I love this cover. One of my favorite ones. Had to get the black and white to complete that, that little issue run. Now this one, Black Panther against Doctor Doom. Not just because the movie's coming out, but dude, this is an awesome cover. I should have gotten the black and white one because in the black and white one, you do have the lightning coming off of Doctor Doom's hand. Little light blue and everything is black, but this one is sick too as well. I love the green in this one. Uh, Black Panther has a little bit of a kind of like a bluish, royal bluish, darkest bluish dim to him, to himself. Guys, look at the lighting on the ribs. That's from the lightning. 
the electricity coming out of uh, Dr. Doom's hands, dude. Look at the lighting, how it just highlights that. That's the lotto for you, man. The best ones with the paint strokes as well all over the book. I love this freaking book. I think it's one of the best ones as well. Show some love. Show some respect for Black Panther, who I think doesn't get enough love. This is a nice series. Now, it is raining in this issue. You can't see it that well. Maybe I could zoom in a little bit. But if you look at his hands, you see how the water wet drips right there? The little drips coming out. Dude, that's awesome, my man. Little details like that is what makes the book. That is just sick. Sorry for the noise, but uh, that's what you get when you want to look at good, good, high detail art. And of course, you guys saw that I did get the, uh, in the other episode, I think it was episode, it was my, uh, the Lotto Hall episode number three, I believe, or it could be four. I think it's probably four. Sorry guys, I've been starting to do my videos. I'm trying to do one at least one every three days. I love going to the stores to picking up my books, so I'm trying to pull them out. I might slow down later in the future, but... As of right now, it doesn't look like it. Now, I should have pulled out the other one. I did pick up number two, I believe, which is the Hulk uh, against Logan, the one I showed you with Hulk's blood coming out. In the other book, this is a connecting cover. In the other book, you can see the, 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 the right arm of Thanos over here. And there's little pieces of Iron Man's freaking metal. Look at this. You see that little right right there, dude? Those are little pieces from that back slap that he got. Seems like every book I get with Iron Man in it from Delato, he's getting slapped around. The Secret Wars with Captain America, he took a left. You know what I mean? Now this one, it's like, come on, dude. The only one I got that's nice is the International <laughs> Iron Man. International Iron Man, where he's saving Mary Jane, at least. But uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful book. Nice colors in this one. Uh, I do love the little pieces of metal flying out in red of Iron Man from getting slapped. I mean, you can't go against Thanos, dude. He's too big. The little glow energy panels or whatever that is part of his suit, which is nice. Look at his fist. You see the lighting from that? Dude, come on, guys. You know how I feel about lighting and shades, man. It's what makes the book. That is what art is really all about to me. Nothing against the other artists. I love the other artists as well. I will get their books as well. You will see them. But right now, this is my favorite artist. Well, not right now. He will always be my favorite artist. But right now, I'm building up my stash because uh, I know most of his work, it's time to get him and go after them. But little things like that just make everything. Little things like that, dude. W what more can I say? You got to appreciate work. And then, of course, last but not least, Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. I want to get all these books. Book number six. This is Batman looking like a beast. The old school black and yellow Batman symbol. Let me see if I can just move this up a little so you can see it closer. Look at that man's face, man. That is a brawler, dude. That is the old school brawler right there. You cannot go up against this guy. I love the blue background in this one. There's a little bit of lighting right there on the left shade, but I love the blue in this one. The background, the night. Makes sense because it's the dark night on top of that big piece of machinery. This is the tank that he used in, um, in the series uh, with the little Robin that was driving around, but... Dude, I can't get enough of this cover, man. I can't get enough of his work. He's just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, guys, this is my comic haul for today. And pretty stoked. Pretty awesome, awesome pull for me. Uh, had a blast. Got a lot of help, as always. Picked up some free top loaders, some free boards, courtesy of Bulletproof, man. If you guys ever come to New York City, if you live in New York City, please stop by Bulletproof Comics in Brooklyn. They have two locations, one in Nordstrom, the other one in Fort Hamilton. I don't get paid from these guys. I don't work for these guys. This is a comic book fan's love and appreciation for the service that they do. This is awesome work, man. But uh, all their books are bagged and board. They're kept very well. You can take your time. No rush. And you're going to always find what you want. And if you don't find it, they are going to get it for you. Um, but yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. Thank you very much once again for watching my haul for today. As always, keep the faith, keep the hope, support one another, pull what you want to pull, do what you want to do, love what you want to love, and enjoy it all, baby. Next, one more weekend, uh, well, next weekend, Ace Comic Con, I get to meet my boy, Henry Cavill, get that signature, but more importantly, get that Superman Unchained signature from uh scott snyder and uh couldn't ask for more man gotta love what you do for the love of comics thank you guys for support for the support thank you for watching the video 
please use that thumb. It doesn't matter. It could be the left one or the right one. It doesn't matter which one you use. Just make sure you use that thumb and uh, give me a like. Subscribe. I'm going to try to put out as much content as I can. Good books to find. Happy hunting, everyone. Have a good night.